Hello everybody. Um, I'm going to do an oil of the day today and the one that I'm picking for today is Idaho Balsam Fir. Um, this is obviously a Young Living oil. I only talk about Young Living oils. I only recommend Young Living oils for lots and lots of reasons. If you're confused on that and think all oils are the same, they are absolutely not. And I really encourage you to go to um, seedtoseal.com or me send me a message and I will help explain to you the huge difference. Um, so the oil of the day today is Idaho Balsam Fir. What's that? Um, so, just for scent only, Idaho Balsam Fir is one of my kind of go-to oils. It smells amazing. It is, it's very, um, it smells woodsy, but it's not like pine. It, it's awesome. Um, this is a really popular oil during like the Christmas months. A lot of people who have um, fake trees will put like felt ornaments with Idaho Balsam Fir or the Young Living Now has a diffuser ornament and we'll put Idaho balsam fir on with their fake trees. Um, it's really, really, really clean smelling. So one thing that I recommend as, as a tip is if you have, you wanna make a manly smelling scent, you can get the um, Young Living Soap Base, which is not scented, and you can add Idaho balsam fir to it. If you're into making bar soap, that's really awesome. If you're looking to switch um, your cologne or your husband's cologne to um, essential oils so that it's clean and natural and not filled with toxins, you can make a roll-on. So with that, you would get an empty roll-on bottle. You would fill it, I would probably say 80% of the way with a carrier oil. My personal favorite is grapeseed, but, and then add about 20 drops or as much as you want. But I normally do, you know, 20 to 30 drops of Idaho balsam fir and there's a cologne and it's awesome. It smells so fresh and clean. Um, and it's real manly to me too. I love it. So, um, another thing that I really, really, really like about Idaho balsam fir and one of the reasons that I wanted to talk about it today was this is one of my top three emotional support oils. I, um, we use oils a lot for emotional support and this oil is so calming. It brings me down. Um, like if I'm feeling kind of frazzled, um, it brings me down and calms me and it really, it's, I feel like after a spa day when I, when I use this, I personally do put it on topically and we diffuse it. Um, if you're out on the go, that's really all it takes. So, um, oh, it's amazing. And also, I was at a seminar yesterday. It was the Empower event for um, Young Living, and I believe her name was Christy Zittle. And she did a class on essential oils and emotional support. She did the science behind why it actually works, how to, um, the essential oil frequencies can affect, uh, change your brain. It's really, really cool. Um, I'm, I hope to do some more videos on frequency for you guys soon. If you don't know what that is, again, research it. It's awesome. But um, she said that Idaho balsam fir and cedar wood were the two best oils for emotional release. And I think that that, that was really cool for me to hear because I personally have had great success with emotional support in Idaho balsam fir. So it was really cool for her um, to hear about the science behind why and things like that. So I definitely recommend looking into that. Another thing about Idaho balsam fir, it's really, it's great respiratory support. So if you're looking for some respiratory support, um, you can use this one, you can diffuse it, you can, you know, roll it on topically. One thing that I like to always recommend with any respiratory support oils is to turn the shower on really hot, not too hot that it hurts you, but hot. And once it's steaming, add a couple drops of oil to the back of the shower so that the, you're breathing in the oils while you're breathing in your steam. And that's just kind of a really cool way to really open you up. Um, also, and these are two things I wanted to tell you, and I hope you really do some time to research them. I am not allowed by the FDA to go into too much great detail, but these Idaho balsam fir, see so if I can slide it. Um, it has beta penine, and so that is B E T A dash P I N E, wait, P I N E N E. Google that, this will blow your mind. Also, it has camphene, which is C-A-M-P-H-E-N-E, -E, and that will also blow your mind. So I really, I hope to share these videos with you, um, and I really hope you guys get a lot out of them, but I encourage you to do your own research as well. Um, you're your own health advocate. I like to share as much as I can, but I can only talk about what's helped. I can only talk in the first person about what has helped me and my family, um, and everybody is affected differently, but there's some really awesome 
awesome stuff out there. And if you do your own research and expose yourself and try it yourself, I'm sure you'll be thrilled. If you have any questions or need any help, just shoot me a message and let me know.